Hello everybody, welcome to a redstone tutorial. Uh, behind me is a giant machine which looks very complicated because it kind of is but it's just broken up into like three little parts like so which are I will explain later but first off what this machine is is that it separates shulker boxes from items into like a storage system or anything that you need it for. So basically what you are able to do is you're able to put in shulker boxes with items in them and also just normal items into this hopper here and what it'll do is it'll separate normal items into this hopper stream and shulker boxes into this hopper. So if I just show you what it does, if I uh, control middle click on a shulker box it keeps items in there so as you can see 15 items that have just the one item so what should happen is 16 iron blocks in there and an empty shulker box in there so if I just put these two items into there the machine does its thing shulker box gets placed and broken so as you can see empty shulker box there and as the items are counting up there should be 16 of them also, the different parts of this machine, as I said earlier, is that this is where the normal items would be outputted. So this is what you'd hook up to like a normal item sorting system for storage. And then this can just be set to like an empty shulker box system. While up here is the input that can be inputted with normal items. So I can just shove like 16 blocks of iron in here and they will end up into this item hopper. As you can see, they're counting in there. Now I will explain a little bit on what each part of this system does. So the first bit is this super fast tiny shulker box and loading system which I do have a separate tutorial on my channel which I will have linked down in the description if you want just the shulker box and loader that is there. And also in this machine I am using a special hopper format which is laid over here. I will, de I will be doing a block by block tutorial later. So I will show you how to do this, but this is just the hopper format that I'm using for down here. And yeah, so I have a separate tutorial if you want just that. The next part is the shulker box separator, which is not my design. It is done by a YouTube channel called Meta Milo. He has some really, really useful machines on his channel. So I highly recommend checking him out because he is really cool and has a lot of cool stuff on there. And so it's pretty easy just to see off of what I have built here. I'm using a slightly, slightly modified design where I just have the dropper facing sideways on this machine, but this is the original design, so yeah, it's really cool and works very well. And then the final part is just a simple item elevator. I don't really think I have to explain much about here, just takes items from there and spits it out the top. That's what I'm using down at this bottom part. Now it is time for the block by block tutorial, and this is a materials list for everything that you are going to need. So it may look like a lot of stuff, which it kind of is, but just a couple of quick notes. These do not have to be blocks of iron. They could just be any block, that any full solid block. I just use iron because it looks nice. Uh, glass can, ju be, can just be any uh, transparent material like glowstone or something else like that. Powered rails can also be activator rails, but powered rails are just pretty easy to make. Uh, you, do, you do not need wool blocks. That is just what I have the selection between. So, And also the shulker box is very much necessary to sit in the build. And that activator rail has to be an activator rail. And all that I'm showing is that the materials is everything between this red wool block and this red wool block. So everything in here is counted, including these lines of hoppers. The machine is in an eight by eight by three size block area. I mean, it's technically nine if you count the blocks supporting the redstone down here, but I would just say eight because that's the area that the redstone fits in. A quick note about materials is that for the shulker box unloader, you do need uh, eight minecart hoppers, or hopper minecarts. You do need eight of them for the shulker box unloading system. I'm going to be starting with the hopper that the normal items end up in. So this is all items that are not shulker boxes will end up in this hopper to go into your normal storage system. And this hopper is one, two, two, three, four, five blocks off of the ground. 
So, if you go down directly underneath the hopper, place down a redstone dot, a block here, a comparator facing this way into the block, a block on this side, a repeater, and a redstone dust. Now what you're going to do is take your four droppers, place them vertically like so, and then take your hoppers, place one here, two facing this way, and then two coming out like so. So they are in an orientation facing something like this. Now if you come back over to the item elevator, place an observer facing up out of the original redstone dot, two observers facing sideways like so, two observers facing up, and an observer facing sideways. Now you can take hoppers and fill in this area along here like so. Now take some iron bars and place them on the hoppers like so. It is very important that they are facing in this orientation. That is very, very important. Now place down a minecart rail. Now you need your hopper minecarts. Place one hopper minecart down. Just push it off to the side like so. Place down a second one. It gets shoved off to the side. Place a third. Wait till it separates again. And then place a fourth. And they should be in a position just like so. Now you need to take your iron bars. Place an iron bar here. This is just temporary. But you place an iron bar here. Place a piston like so, facing into the iron bar, and use this to push the minecarts into place, remove everything else, and now you need to remove the iron bar that is facing there, and here's where I had the white stained glass. This doesn't have to be white stained glass, I just use a transparent block because it looks a little bit nicer, because if you use a solid block, the minecarts just have a weird lighting glitch. This just looks nicer, you can use a solid block here instead, but I'm just using this because it looks nice. So you push the uh, block in from above, like so. Now place a, an iron bar here, and you need your activator rail to be placed right here. Now you need a sticky piston placed like so, with an observer facing this way, a solid block here, and a solid block right here. Then on this block, place a redstone torch, with a repeater set to two ticks facing like so. Now here's where I have the uh, normal glass blocks. Uh, glass. These can be any transparent block. They do not have to be glass, but I just prefer glass. So place one there and then also place one right here. Now, if we go back to the minecarts, place one hopper minecart down here, push it off to the side and now build up with your iron bars twice like so and now just take a temporary solid block place it there place a rail push a minecart against it this is all just alignment stuff just to make sure that it's all lined up properly break the rail break the block it should snap into place down there and now place the block back put down a rail and then click the rail and then underneath the minecart click the rail again so there are currently two minecarts stacked in that location break the rail break the block they should all snap down into place and be super careful to not bump these minecarts because if you do i just recommend redoing what i just did because they do get kind of weird sometimes okay so now place a solid block here with a piston facing like so there now place a dispenser facing down right here like so and a solid block on top of the piston head a solid block on the side of the piston head and a solid block up here like so now take two comparators one comparator there and another comparator up here make sure that this comparator is on subtract mode Place a redstone cross right there with a block off to the side like so. Fill in another block here. Place a repeater set to three ticks into some redstone dust. Now on this side, also place down a piece of redstone dust. 
and place two observers facing up from the redstone torch and facing out of that observer like so. Next, place down a target block on the side of the dispenser like so. Now, we can place a, another hopper right here facing into this line of hoppers and then also place a hopper facing into the side of this dispenser. Now, take your shulker box, place it on top of this hopper, take your dropper, place it into the side of the shulker box on top of this hopper, place two observers facing one facing down like so on the side of that hopper and then an observer facing into that one pointing into this hopper. Next, place two observers on top like so. Place another observer here. Take a note, note block. Place it on the end of the observer there with an observer facing upwards. Take a powered rail, two powered rails. Place them like so. Place a block up here. Place a redstone torch on the side like so with a comparator facing into it like that. And then take hoppers and place them like so. This is going to be your input for this top dropper here. So this is the input of all items. That, so this can lead wherever you want to have it go. Next and finally, all you have to do is just place in the hoppers to actually pick up the shulker box. So this hopper here is where the shulker boxes will end up. You can have this go anywhere you want. I think you, you would probably have them go towards your storage system. So I would just have all the hoppers facing in like so. But otherwise, that should be the entire machine completed. So if I can just show you, I just take a shulker box like so, and then I just take like some white stained glass. I'll just put both of them in just to show that it is also compatible with empty shulker boxes. So as you can see, empty shulker box ends up right there and the white stained glass ends up up here. So uh, like I said earlier when I was showing off this machine here, this is a design by Metamilo. So I highly recommend checking him out for that. But otherwise, uh, that is all that I have for you today. I hope that you enjoyed watching and I will see you all later. Bye.